In this video we're going to look at a problem uh, sent to me from a practice test and the problem says uh, find a polynomial that represents the perimeter of this given triangle here. The first thing to make sure that we understand is this word perimeter. What does perimeter mean? Well the perimeter of an object is the distance around the object so to find the perimeter all you have to do is take the sum of the sides add up all the sides. That's how you find perimeter of any any polygon. It could be a triangle, a square, or a weird shape like this. You, know, you could find the perimeter of that just by adding up all the sides. Area is a little bit more complicated, but perimeter is usually pretty straightforward. Just add up all the sides. We have a triangle here. We need to add up these three sides. That's all we need to do. So let's write that down. We have our first side, which is 2r squared plus 3r. And then we have our second side, which is 5r plus 5. Uh, it doesn't matter what order these are in. And then the other side is r to the third plus r squared plus 3. To find the perimeter of the triangle, then, we need to add up these three sides. That's basically the answer. That's a polynomial that represents the perimeter. The only thing we have left to do, which we should always do when we're working with the polynomial, is make sure that it's simplified. In this case, we want to combine like terms. We have a bunch of terms here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. Now we did have three sides. But, you know, one side here had two terms in it, another side had two terms, and then another side had three terms. So one, when we add them all together, they become one polynomial with a total of seven terms. And now we can combine those like terms. So remember that when you're finding like terms, you're looking for the variables and the exponents to be the same. So in this case, <clears throat> our like terms are going to be something with an r to the third in it, because we've got that. Anything with an r squared in it, we've got a couple of those. We've got r terms, terms that just have r's. And then we've got our constant terms, which are terms that don't have an r in them, but just a number. So for our, well, let's do this a little bit more color-coded. So for our r to the third terms, we have just got this guy right here. That's it. For our r squared terms, Let's do that in black, r squared. We've got 2r squared, and we've got an r squared here. For the r terms, we've got a 3r and a 5r. And for our constant terms, let's keep those green. For our constant terms, we've got a 5 and a 3. Now we're going to combine those together and write our final answer. Our r cubed term, we just r to the third, we've just got this one term right here, r to the third. So we'll just bring that down. There's nothing to combine him with, okay? Now we've got our r squared term. We've got a 2r squared and an r squared. So remember, if there's no number in front of the r squared, you need to think of it as 1r squared because 1 times r squared is just r squared. So what you're really doing is you're adding 2r squared plus 1r squared which gives you 3 r squared, and it's a positive 3, so you write plus 3 r squared. For the r terms, we've got a 3 r, a positive 3 r, plus a 5 r. Actually, all these are positives and pluses, but if there were minuses in here, you'd have to think of it as subtracting or a negative. 3 r's plus 5 r's is 8 r's, so we have 8 r. And then for our constant term, let's see, we did these, and then we just did the r's. For our constant term, we have a plus 5 and a plus 3. 5 plus 3 is 8, positive 8, so we write plus 8. Now we've got four terms, and none of these are like terms because their variables are different, so it cannot be simplified any further, and this is the final answer. So I hope that helps with, with perimeter. You're just going to add up all the sides and basically simplify your polynomial by combining like terms. There's nothing else to do here. You can't solve it because they don't tell you what the perimeter is equal to. 
um, they're just asking you to find a polynomial and this is the polynomial right here that represents the perimeter.